secretary, and she's a a fantastic wife, far better than Rick deserves. Praise <laughs> God. Amen. But uh, praise the Lord. They are just like salt and pepper. Amen. Yeah. They're made for each other. Praise God. They go good together. All right. Uh, like I said, I asked Sister Mary uh, to speak tonight. And uh, actually, I think I told her, I said, I'm going to put you down for December 17th. That's actually the date I gave you. So... Uh, <laughs> But you knew what I was talking about. That's why I text you, hey, I just want to confirm. Because <laughs> I told her to preach last night, but nobody would have been here. But uh, uh, Sister Mary's going to come now, and uh, let's just make her feel welcome. We love you, Mary. You are a blessing. Amen. Jesus Christ, Amen. the bread of life. John 6.48 says, 
that Jesus is the bread of life. So we are not asking for ourselves because we are saved. Those of us who are saved, we have the bread of life, but we are asking for those who need the bread of life. And we need the bread of life in order to give it to others. And that bread of life is Jesus Christ. We need Jesus Christ within us to pour out into others and let them know, hey, there we serve, we have a Savior, and He is the bread of life, and He will be anything that you need Him to be. Bread of life, if we don't eat, we don't live, amen? So spiritually, if we don't eat of the bread of life, we're going to die spiritually, amen? Amen. So the first lo first bread, loaf of bread, is the bread of life. Is Jesus Christ, the bread of life. Amen. The second loaf. Um, from my notes. Is the word of God. Amen. Our daily bread. Yeah. This word of God is our daily bread. Yeah. How are we going to be fed if we don't eat from this bread? Right. The word of God daily. Amen. So the second loaf is the word of God. And if we don't have the word of God in us, how can we give it out to somebody else? Yeah, we have Jesus in our heart, yeah. but we also need the word of God yeah. so that we will know it in order to give it out to others right. who need to, a word of encouragement right. or who need to know what a promise of the Lord is yeah. or need to know what our Savior did for us, yeah. that he died on that cross to be a witness. Yeah. So we need the word of God in our life. Amen? Amen. Yeah. And then the third loaf, is the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And we need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit must be flowing through us. Amen? Yeah. We need the Holy Spirit. We need to be filled and baptized with the Holy Spirit. Our young people, I encourage you to pray for our young people that they will be filled with the Holy Spirit because we are living in a, in a world right now where they need the Holy Spirit because yeah. they need to have all those gifts of the Spirit working in, especially the gift of discernment so yeah. that they will know what is what they need to grab a hold of and what they need to let go of. So I encourage you to pay, pray for our young people because they are dealing with so much that you will never even know. They deal with things that we, as teenagers years ago, didn't have to deal with. There, there's such a spirit of confusion in our young people, and they need the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. So the third loaf is the Holy Spirit, and God must be flowing through us. We are that river of life, and He's within us and he's flowing through us yeah. and we need to be flowing through the Holy Spirit. Yeah. When we're here on Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, we need to have that Spirit flowing through us yeah. so that we can minister and give out to others. Yeah. When they come up here for prayer like Pastor said, you need to come up here and pray for them. Yeah. And let me tell you, if you don't have these loaves of bread within you, you're not going to be able to give out to the others. But as long as you have Jesus Christ, yeah. you've accepted him, you know the word of God, you've got the Holy Spirit within you, Yeah. But if we 
we don't have these to get out, what are we doing, church? How many loaves do you have? Do you just have one loaf where you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, but you don't get into that daily loaf? You come to church, but you don't get into that daily loaf. You don't ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit or to be led of the Spirit. And sometimes we just come in and all we have is just a slice. It's just a slice. Well, I came to church on Sunday morning and I don't need to come Sunday night or Wednesday night because I got my feel Sunday morning. But you know what? This is just for me because I don't have enough to give out to anybody else. And to be honestly, I don't know the word of God or his promises to give out. I hope nobody comes to me and wants, wants, you know, prayer or something because this is all I have. And this, yeah. you know, I got to feast off of this just during the week, yeah. just for myself. Well, you know, my family was here, so they got a, a slice of their own, right. you know, because I only bring my family when I come. Yeah. Come on. You know, you're walking through Walmart and you see a friend and they come up to you. Oh, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm... I'm really going through it, you know. I've been diagnosed with cancer. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. You know, I'll be praying for you. It was so good to see you. You can't get him into her because you've only got a slice. Oh, you only got a slice. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. They run into yeah. me. They're getting the whole three loaves. Yeah. I'm gonna tell them. You know what? I had a husband who had cancer, and God can heal you just like He healed him. Yeah. And I know what you're going through, and I know that the fear that you're facing yeah. and the on our door. 
hang up real fast or get away from them real fast. Oh, yeah, I'm praying, I'm praying. Yeah. It was nice seeing you. Yeah. Have a good Christmas. Because yeah. we don't want to be faced with having to tell them about Jesus. And you know what? We need that boldness. Yes. Thank you, sweetie. We need that boldness. Yes. Amen. Especially in this time. Excuse me. Because let me tell you, if the if the sinners can be so bold and push it in our face, yeah. why can't we be so bold and push Jesus in their face? Say amen. amen. Because you know what? This world is crazy. Yeah. And I, I tell Seth all the time, Seth, you don't let your friends influence you. You be an influence to them. Right. And let me tell you, he has. Yeah. He has. They know that he's a Christian. They know that he uh, comes to church. Amen. And... I told him, don't be afraid to pour out into your friends and tell them about Jesus because they need to hear it from you. I said, and make sure that you are living that life in front of them. Because like that saying says, the only Bible somebody may read is you. That's right. And you know, we need to be ready. We need to make sure that we have our three loaves, right. not the slice. And this is the heel at that. <laughs> we don't want to be a heel. Amen. We want to be the whole loaf. A whole three loaves and twelve tacos at that. Amen, sis? So we must be ready to give out to others Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. We must be ready to give them a word of encouragement, to give them scriptures to help them through. Amen? And they come to you and say, you know, I just don't know what I'm going to do. Well, you, you tell them, well, you know what the scripture says? The scripture says to hold on. Yeah. The scripture says that by his stripes you are healed. The scripture says that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will feel your fear no evil. Amen? Yeah. We need to pour out into others. Because Jesus is pouring into us, and we are to pour Jesus out to others. Yeah. We just don't come here and, and, and just to worship him. We come here to get something from him, right? We come here with the spirit of expectancy to expect to receive from the Lord. So why wouldn't others expect to receive from us the Lord Jesus Christ? Amen? Yes, amen. So church tonight, how many loaves do you have? Yes. Are you walking around with just a slice or a half a loaf? Or maybe you've only got one loaf? But let me tell you, church, you need all three. Yes. You need all three. You need the bread of life. Amen. You need the word of God. Yes. And we need that Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 To get us through. Not just for ourselves, but to minister to others. Because we've been called to minister to others. To be a witness to others. Amen. To help others. Not just to push them aside and say, you know, I'm going to be praying for you. Yeah. No. We need to pour into them the love of God and show them the love of God and have that heart of compassion that Jesus had for us because we were wicked sinners, but he had compassion to die on that cross for us, amen, and to shed his blood for us so that we could have a healing and forgiveness of our sin. His body was beat for us, amen, and we need to share that with those who do not understand just what our Lord Jesus Christ went through so that we could call him King of Kings and Lord of Lords and most of all to call him our Savior. Amen? Yes, amen. So church, I just leave you with this question. How many loaves do you have? Amen. amen. Wonderful job, Sister Maria. You enjoy that word tonight? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm reminded whenever what Sister Mary was uh, speaking, Peter and John went into the temple, the hour of prayer, and they saw a lame man sitting there at the gate. And musicians, you can come. And this guy's there, he's just begging for bread, you know, begging for bread, begging for money. And what happens, Peter and John, they walk by, this guy's... Ask him for money and, hey, you got any change you can give me? And Peter says, silver and gold have I none. Yeah. But what I do have, I give you in the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk. Yes. How was Peter able to say what I do have? He had the bread. Yeah. He had something that he could give somebody. There's people out there, maybe they won't admit it to you right away, but they're very hungry. They're hungry for a change in their life. They, they, they don't like the addiction. They don't, they don't like uh, uh, all the bondage that they're going through. They're, they're hungry. So 
let's make sure that we don't just have one little piece. I always throw the heel away. Right. Uh, okay, I give it to the kids. <laughs> this is what you eat when you broke and you add a brick. <laughs> but I'll tell you, that was so good. I want to be able to give people what they need. And what do they need? They need Jesus. Amen. They need uh, the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So let, let's all stand if we can. Let's sing that uh, old song I used to I hear it growing up uh, in church. But uh, fill my cup, Lord. Uh, key is G. Park. 
of this month, and all of our speakers do. Uh, every time Rick ministers, he does a fantastic job, and uh, everybody else, I mean, y'all just keep it up. Keep growing, and Mary just gave a bunch of bread to you guys tonight. But Mary would tell you this too. Now she needs to get more bread. She gave it to you. I gave you my bread this morning. <laughs> Thank God she had bread tonight. <laughs> or I'd have to dig deep in an old message and give you some old bread in the freezer. <laughs> and put it in the microwave. <laughs> Of pastoring, I've, I've preached maybe a handful of maybe reruns. Uh, you know, just time gets short. Sometimes that was the meal for the hour, and other times you're thinking, I should have let it thaw out a little bit more. <laughs> Praise God, amen. Uh, make sure you let Sister Mary know how much you enjoyed. Uh, the word tonight uh, before you take off, but uh, wonderful job, uh, sis. We need we need that bread, amen. The bread of the, the Holy Spirit, and I like what Mary said too. Don't worry, I'm almost done. Rick's already thinking you weren't preaching tonight, Pastor. I know. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> you know, we need the, the bread of the Holy Spirit, not just to be used in the gift of tongues and interpretation. This is wonderful gifts that are needed and necessary in the New Testament church, but there's nine gifts. The working of miracles, the gift of discernment. Amen. And uh, I'll tell you, we need all the gifts of the Spirit. They have not, nor will they ever pass away. Amen. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, great job, Mary. Amen. Let's, let's keep looking for that bread. Amen. Fill my cup, Lord. Amen. Father, we love you. And we thank you once again for this powerful word and uh, these wonderful services, God, that you've given us uh, tonight and uh, this morning. Uh, Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for the praise and worship uh, that we had here uh, tonight and, and this morning, Lord. We thank you for the words. God, we thank you for the fellowship. We thank you, Lord, that Marlene was able to be here this morning. Continue to strengthen her and help her. And Father, right now I pray for uh, Josiah, uh, Richard's little Josiah. I pray over him. I pray over him in the name of Jesus. May your hand rest upon his life. I pray, God, that you touch Richard. Minister to him grace, comfort, help. Minister to him in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we just pray uh, over this house that you would continually make us one in unity as you and the Heavenly Father are one. Right now I I pray for unity. Church, I want you to lift up your hands. I don't know why, but the Holy Spirit is just putting on my heart. I want to pray for unity in the name of Jesus. A kingdom divided, the Bible says, can't stand. Lord God, as far as I know, there's unity, but I also know how the devil works. I bind every spirit of division. I bind every spirit of compromise, every spirit that would try to break up, dissolve, hinder, be broken. Every lie, wicked plot be exposed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give us all a good week. Bring us back on Wednesday for our candlelight service as we celebrate your birth together. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. God bless everybody. Love y'all.
<laughs> yeah, look, Rob. <laughs> you look like a little you're very short. You're I got no hands. <laughs> you shall lay your hands, lay your, lay your wrist on the sick, and they will recover. <laughs> That's strong enough for me. You look like a. you just take it. So love you, man. Love you too. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's a nice. Hey, thanks. Look at this coat, baby. Yeah, I'll get it right now.